Good morning. How are you? Okay, we have some requirements like this. So suppose a customer orders frequently a specific item from the suppliers. Some of the customers provide the item at a negotiated prices. Some of the ch suppliers change the price throughout the year. So you want to configure this type of requirement, what you have to do? Suppose if a customer is frequently changing the uh, price, then you have to configure contact purchase agreements. So if the uh, supplier is negotiated price uh, giving, you have, to give, you have to create a blanket purchase orders agreements, okay? So I will show the navigations for the blanket purchase, purchase agreement today, okay? For that, you uh, have to go to the click on vision. Procurement, which is agreements. It will navigate to which is agreements. Okay. We have to create BPS. In what scenarios you have to create BPS? I'm explaining on that. Okay. Create agreement. Created a supplier, T test supplier, take that supplier. Click on create. The supplier is a, doing negotiated prices, then we'll create a PPS. If the supplier is changing the price regularly, we have to create contract purchase agreements. Okay, that is a major difference. At present, we are going to create a BPS. It is taking some, some time. Instance is slow. Wait a bit sometime. So agreed amount. Do some one lakh ten thousand and okay. to that click on click on lines. We created a item, T purchase item. T purchase item. Take that item. Put price under. You can view the price text also. We'll show it later. Put controls.
So automatically click on automatically generates orders. And these are both both are important uh, settings. So if you want to create a budget orders against BPA, you have to check it these two. Okay. And submit. Regarding price breaks, I will let you explain in later. We have to know when we have to create agreement BPS, when we have to create CPA. CPA is a contract purchase agreement. That's why I'm explaining. Suppose somebody asks so the scenarios, you have to know that. Okay. Still pending, it will come. Sick of time, it will. Sometimes somebody will change the approvals. So for that, uh, you have to check it. For that, the navigation is. Set up and maintenance. We'll check it. Still pending, so we change it. We check it after somebody change. When is purchase approved? Purchasing document approval. In real scenarios, nobody will touch it. Okay. So we don't have access to this page also. Check it for. Don't touch uh, other people's. Uh, we have created one tool. Don't change anything here. Automatic, so it will do it. Uh, see, I created one tool for our. Uh, so automatically approved. Okay. It's second time time to approve. It will approve, okay. We, we come to we have to know when you have to, if you as a business analyst, you have to know when you have to create BPS, when you have to create CPS. Okay. So, the major agenda of this session.
the customer frequently orders a specific item from a strict list of suppliers. Some of the suppliers provide the item at negotiated price, whereas some of the suppliers change the price throughout the year. Then how to what then how to do it? So for, for negotiated prices, we have to create a BPS contract contract project agreements. We have to uh, if the pay, pay, price is varying, then you have to create a contract purchase agreements. Okay. Okay. Pending state. If you open, it will come under. That will change to open state. Okay, so after that, you have to create a requisition, and once this requisition is approved, it automatically creates POS against this PPA. Okay, I will show you in next session how to do it. Thank you. It will approve. Okay. Taking some time because the system is slow. It will take some time to. Thank you.